Hi there. In my last video, I explained how to use different sorts of LED displays, um, including this one, the four digit TM1637 display. Um, and one of the ways that I demonstrated uh, how to use them was just to have a simple countdown that counted down from 5000 to zero. Now, in the comments of that video, someone asked, would it be possible to create a timer that counted down in minutes and seconds instead? Um, and the good news is, yes, it is possible. Um, so uh, the only thing, you can use exactly the same hardware wiring as before, and you can actually use the same uh, Arduino library as before. The only thing you need to do is to make a few differences to your code. Um, so you can see now I've got displayed on the board, I've got a minute and a second counter with the colon. So this is uh, a counter that starts at uh, one hour so um, it counts down one second at a time and when the counter expires to zero um, you can set something to happen an alarm to go off or a lock to be sealed uh, whatever you want to to do um, so in this video i'm going to show you how to write the code to do that so here's the arduino sketch and it's just a slightly modified version of the sketch that i created uh, in the last video so i'm going to just focus really on the the additional things that i've added and right at the top of the script here, this is the first thing that's new. So um, I'm still going to be counting actually down a, a, a number value that is uh, in milliseconds actually. And what I need to do is to separate out from that value just the fractional part of seconds and minutes to display on the uh, display. So I've defined two macros here. Now, uh, you might have seen defines at the top of scripts before used to define constants uh, like the pins which certain components are assigned to and things like that. Um, you can also define uh, macros like this, um, which are a little bit like kind of defining simple functions. So anywhere else in my code from now on, anytime I write number of seconds and time, uh, what it's gonna substitute it for is uh, the time in milliseconds divided by a thousand so that's going to give it to me in seconds and then I'm going to take the modulo with 60 to find the fractional number of seconds from any time I supply it uh, and any time I refer to number of minutes uh, what it's going to do is give me the time divided by a thousand divided by 60 now um, and then modulo 60 again so it's kind of like a shorthand way of um, when this code is compiled, it's going to do like a, a search and replace. And any time I refer to that in my code, what it's going to do is put this in instead. Okay, so I'm using exactly the same library as before. That's remained the same. I'm still uh, defining some constants, which I can display on the screen if I want to display a little message. Still using the same display, still using the same pins. Now, this uh, next line, however, is new. So um, I've made this a variable so that you can um, choose a different time limit if you want to. So if you want to set it for 20 minutes or 30 minutes or 60 minutes, whatever. Um, but this value here uh, is one hour in milliseconds. So to get that value, what I've done is a thousand milliseconds uh, in a second multiplied by 60 seconds in a minute multiplied by 60 minutes in an hour uh, gives me that value there. Um, so that's going to be what my timer is uh, uh, initially set to when the code starts. My setup function remains exactly the same as before. Um, now, my countdown function, however, has changed slightly. So in my uh, first demonstration of how to use the LED displays, I used a loop with the delay function in it. So delay will cause your code to um, pause for a certain number of uh, milliseconds before continuing. And that's I sort of introduced a slight delay just to slow down the countdown as it was counting down. Now, um, that was because I, I wasn't really trying to time anything particularly accurately. I was just trying to demonstrate how you can display different numbers on the display. Um, because I want to actually make use of a uh, you know, reasonably accurate timing function here. I'm going to do a slightly different approach to the loop. So the millis function here, this is an Arduino built-in function that will return the number of milliseconds uh, that the uh, script has been running for. So since the last time the Arduino was reset or when it was turned on, 
this is the total number of uh, milliseconds elapsed since that time. So what I'm going to do is work out how much time is remaining on the counter by uh, starting with my time limit, which I defined, remember that was that 36000 value at the top, take away how many milliseconds have elapsed so far, and that's going to give me my time remaining. So long as uh, there is some time remaining, so we haven't reached the time limit yet, what I'm then going to do is work out the seconds and the minutes um, for the display and that's going to call those two macros that I defined at the top of the script and then I'm going to call the display dot show number deck x function now last time I was using the display I used uh, just a function called show number deck this time I'm using show number deck x um, and the reason for that is that gives you a little bit more control including control over the um, colon between the two uh, fractional parts between the minutes and the seconds so I'm calling it twice um, because I'm building up the display um, separately so this bit here I've calculated my seconds up here and then I'm going to uh, write my seconds into the two digits at the right hand side of the display so my seconds function, I'm not going to put any uh, colon for this one. I am going to put leading zeros so that if there's only one second remaining, it will still display as zero, 01. Uh, it's a two digit uh, number that I want to display, and I'm going to display it two digits in uh, from the right hand side. And then I'm going to display my minutes, and my minutes are. I'm going to display that I calculated before. Now, this thing here, this looks a bit funny. This is a bit mask, um, which the this function takes, which the other one doesn't, um, and that is what's going to display the colon separator between the minutes and the seconds function. So you don't need to worry too much about that if you don't understand it, but that's what it's doing. That parameter there is um, displaying the colon separator. Again, I want to include leading digits, so if we've only got um, four minutes left on the clock, I still want to display 0, 04. Um, I'm going to have two digits of minutes and this time I'm going to start them right at the beginning of the display. So that's what those two lines there do. So it's a little bit more complicated than in the last example. When I was showing the counter before I just called show number deck once and passed a single value but what we're having to do here is we split the seconds and the minutes um, and then display them separately on the uh, two leftmost values of the display and the two rightmost values of the display. And then all I do is I update my time remaining. Um, uh, so I, I just calculate that again, how many milliseconds have passed since the code has been running. Um, and then so long as there is still some time remaining on the clock, we just go round and round that loop. Um, the display text, this just displays a little bit of text at the beginning. Um, and my loop, all I do is um, iteratively call countdown. If you wanted something to happen when the countdown ended, um, you could place it in your loop function here and it would get called once the, uh, the while loop had finished when the time remaining was, was zero or less. So there you go, that's how you can uh, address the two digits on the left and the two digits on the right of the display separately uh, to display a seconds and minutes counter and how to make the uh, colon indicator in the middle uh, light up as a separator. So I hope that answered the question and uh, thanks very much for watching. Cheers, bye.